guys, today's video is going to be all about how I style my extensions. Now this is not going to be um, potentially super informative or revolutionary, it's literally just how I style my hair extensions and this is going to serve as a point of reference if anyone ever asks me how did you do that, I will show them this video or link back to this video. Um, I'm not going to do a tremendous amount of different stuff with my hair extensions, it's not like I've got any super skills or anything, but just for those of you maybe wondering how I blend my extensions or how easy it is to style extensions rather than regular hair, hopefully this will be useful for you or um, generally interesting. <laughs> I, know. Uh, I did kind of struggle with the concept of the video because that's really all I wanted to do was show you how I style this um, but it didn't seem to be you know like once you've done straight and curly it just seemed like this is going to be one of thousands and thousands of identical videos on YouTube but especially for me I'm not big on um, kind of skill I'm not a hairdresser I want to show you how I did it uh, so I'm going to style my hair straight and then I'm going to style it curly. I did try and do something kind of beachy, but I don't think it works very well with um, the hair extension length that I've got versus my own hair. I think it's a little bit wiggy it was. Uh, so I'd probably add some curls to that or just let it dry completely naturally. Because when you put the salt spray in your hair, it gives you that texture, but extensions kind of have that natural texture anyway that you're trying to knock out and look more sleek. Um, when you kind of put different kind of products on there to condition them and make them look nicer quality. Uh, to then put a salt spray on there kind of does the opposite effect. So I don't think it works that well for these kind of hair extensions that I've got. But it might work for you. And if your hair is a closer length to your extensions and you've got them more for volume, you might really like that. Um, and then I did kind of like a twist up thing from there that I'm more likely to do with one of the straight or curly styles. I did film some others, but I just wasn't particularly happy with them because I don't really do anything else with my hair, to be honest. Um, I would just wear it down or I'd wear it in a ponytail like this. So I'm just gonna leave you with those three. Um, obviously, something like this, I literally just scrape it on top of my head. I feel like with these particular bonds, because they are clear, they're the loose Cinderella-y, I think they're called Mediconets, um, much, much easier to hide in the hair. I'm certain that some of you can spot them. I'm not particularly bothered about that, to be honest. I don't really care about people knowing that they're extensions, but they're not super obvious in my hair. So when I pull my hair up, I'm not constantly worried about the entire of the back of my head looking like, you know, bonds, 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 bonds. I know that it doesn't look like that because they're quite easily disguised. Different kinds of hair extensions will be different kinds of bonds. Ones I've had in the past have been tape ones, which are much more difficult to disguise because they're big um, strips like glued into your head. And it's just generally harder to get kind of a smooth line to put your hair up. Um, and then I've had great lengths, uh, what were they called, keratin bonded extensions. And those extensions come with a pre-bonded coloured tip. So it's either blonde or it's dark. Um, and they didn't match my hair at the time. I had blonde extensions that were coloured at the top to match my dark roots. And so the extensions were with a blonde bond in my dark hair. So they were never ever going to match my hair. If you find pre-bonded extensions that have got a bond that match really well, then great. But just bear that in mind when you are thinking about putting up your hair and whether or not you're going to be able to disguise them uh, alongside your natural colour or the colour that your hair is. Uh, so that is enough chatter. Here is me styling my hair. I hope you enjoy it. And um, yeah, don't expect too much. <laughs> informative uh, but hopefully interesting for those of you that are wondering how I style my hair extensions and if you want any more information about them I will leave a video link below 
to the video where I talk about having them fitted and all that jazz. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!